Hi, I'm here today to show you my Mazda Bongo 1995 model, 112,000 kilometres. It's full time, four wheel drive, turbo diesel. Let's show you around. As you can see, the driver's compartment's quite tidy. Let's take a look under the bonnet. As you can see under the bonnet of these vehicles, got a house battery, battery management system, starter battery, and your air conditioning unit. The engine's underneath the rear, the pat sorry, the passenger and driver's seat. Height adjustable table, bench seat, very nice and tidy. In the back, in the fridge. Solar panels for charging the battery. The rear tent and a 1500 watt inverter, giving you 240 volt power off the house battery. You can have it set up as a portable cooker. You can even do the washing up. Plenty of bench space. You can sleep downstairs by simply just lowering the table and pulling out a board. A unique system set up in these Mazda Bongos is a little seat behind your driver's seat and passenger seat. You can also turn this into a bed with the height adjustable table. Simply wind down the table. You've got room for someone that's six foot two to lay down and go to sleep. As you can see, that's pretty easy to do.
when you're in bed and you need to pull the curtains down, each window certainly has just an easy pull down blind. All the privacy you need. Storage area in this van. There's a large bench seat. Under the bench seat is a heap of storage. Full width of the van, 600 mil wide. This, that's the seat that you use for the passenger to dine with you from one side to the other. The passenger seat also has one of those seats in it. Wind the table back up. And you're ready to go driving again. It has a side awning. Now the side awning winder, the handle to wind it is missing. It's the only thing missing from the whole van. So I just thought I'd let you know. To raise the top of the camper, simply start the engine, put the handbrake on, and press the button inside the cabin. As you can see, the top's fully up. Another unique feature of these vans is the whole ceiling of the van pops up into the pop top. It's on gas struts. It allows you to fully stand in the van. When you want to go to sleep up top, which sleeps two people, pull down the ceiling, open up this hatch, simply Very easy to do. To lift up the ceiling in the van, simply just push up. This opens up the entire ceiling of the van. I'm six foot two and I can't touch my head on the ceiling at all. Also up top, there is a skylight, which you can simply close when you're in bed unless you want to sleep under the stars. With the ceiling down, this is the pop top. Sorry, very hard to see. But this whole area, it's even got a little area where you can pass up a drink through the ceiling to another person up here asleep. It also unzips right round, giving you a fly screen area with a nice cool breeze blowing through while you're asleep. <laughs> the zips are all in very good condition. There are a few little tiny 
tear marks in the actual fly screen. Very easy to patch, which I'll probably do before anyone buys it. To close the pop top, there's a two buttons you must press. One for safety, which is the unlock button. Don't know if you can hear the beeping, there's a little beeping noise. Then you press the button in the cabin, which brings down the pop top. Stops halfway so you can get out and check that there's no material hanging outside, then you press it again. beeping stops which means your rooftop is locked in place. Okay, this van has four new tyres, all new discs and brakes system, all new filters and fully serviced, regassed air conditioning, and that's about it. Thanks for watching.